spring is peak car buying season, but how do you know if the mileage listed on your car's odometer is correct? A St. Charles County man learned looks can be deceiving, and now News 4 investigator Chris Nagus is showing you how to learn from his example. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary to me. His name is Chris, but he doesn't want to show his face, but he is willing to reveal his nightmare car buying experience. The man from St. Charles County recently purchased this 2008 Yukon after seeing this Craigslist ad. The seller advertised 140,000 miles. The electronic odometer matched up, and so did the back of the title. So how much did he charge you for this car? He charged me $8,000 for it. That was December, but when he went to register the car with the state of Missouri, Chris ran into a major speed bump. Notice the front of the title. One number under the mileage appears scratched out, and it certainly doesn't match the number on the back of the title or the odometer. So he pulled the Carfax and discovered a huge problem. It showed an odometer reading back on uh, 2016 for 204,000 miles. So Chris attempted to track down the man who sold him the car. He says that man introduced himself as Grant, and that's the name on the title, and that's the name the seller signed when Chris bought it. But it turns out Grant didn't sell the car to Chris. And we know that because we called Grant ourselves. You can state definitively you did not sell that car to Chris. Correct. It was sold to somebody in between. Yeah. So in between Grant and Chris, there was another buyer. That transaction took place in November. But the state of Missouri would never know that because the middleman buyer never titled the car in his own name. So I asked Grant, who he sold the car to in between. To your understanding, who were you selling that vehicle to? A guy from Arnold named Mike. And he picked that car up? Yes. Grant provided this text exchange. The buyer asked for the extra set of keys to be sent to this house in Arnold. The house is owned by a man named Michael Santa Maria. Grant says Santa Maria knew the car had well over 200,000 miles when he purchased it. When you sold the car, how many miles were on that vehicle? 240,000. 240,000, and that was clear to the buyer? Very clear, yes. So I called Santa Maria to find out why he didn't title the car in his name and ask if he knows how the car went from 240,000 miles to just under 140,000 miles. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm trying to reach Michael. You got him? Yeah, hey, Michael, this is uh, Chris Nagus over at Channel 4. How are you today? I'm doing well, sir. Good. Hey, I, the reason I'm calling today, our newsroom was contacted by an individual um, that purchased a 2008 Yukon, um, and he says that he purchased it from you or, or late 2019. Do you recall that situation? <laughs> but Michael either hung up or got disconnected, so I knocked on his door to see if he could explain. Hey, Mike. He refused to open the door. I wanted to know if he sold the car to someone else and if that person possibly sold it to Chris. But he told me Chris wasn't being straight with me. Chris has you when I asked if he knows Chris, he cut the conversation short. Goodbye. When I got back to the newsroom, Santa Maria left me a voicemail. Yeah, Chris, my name's Mike. You were at my house today and um, you wanted to chat and I would not do that with you. Um, if you would like to talk like a man, give me a call. So I called him, but he never called me back. He just didn't seem like anybody that was untrustworthy. Now Chris is stuck with a car he can't register. Why won't they title it? Because the title's been tampered with. They can see that it's been tampered. They can see that it's not what it should be. You always want to meet at a police station. Do not, ver do not veer from that. Jay Grossman helps people buy and sell cars through his business iAuto agent. He says any transaction that starts online should be completed in a place where surveillance cameras are present. And you should ask for identification from the seller. Even take a picture of that person and their license plate. And something that's unnerving, he says rolling back odometers is easier than ever. Nowadays, it happens, it's more prevalent than ever. There's devices that you could literally buy online that you could plug into your car that would be under $200 that you could literally roll back the odometer to anything that you want. He says it's important to get a car fax, which in this case was done after the fact and showed the vehicle had higher mileage than what was advertised. Both Grant and Chris are now speaking with investigators from the Department of Revenue. Would you have purchased this car if you knew it had over 200,000 miles? No.
The Department of Revenue won't comment on any investigation and won't even confirm if one is taking place at this point. Now, if you have a story that needs investigating, send me a tip through my KMOV Facebook page, email, or Twitter. Chris Nagus, News 4 Investigates.